Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going back to the basics of acrylic color mixing where we will learn 5 concepts of mixing your acrylic colors. If you could implement these concepts thoroughly in your painting, you can take your paintings to the next level. Hi, this is Modula, the artist behind Modula Creations. We will start from the essential concept of primary colors. If you are new to acrylic painting, this is a perfect place to start with. First, let's talk about what primary colors are. There are three primary colors, red, blue and yellow. These colors are unique because in theory, they can't be created by mixing other colors together. Instead, they are the foundation for all other colors you will use in your paintings. I have three tubes of acrylic paint right here, red, blue and yellow. I'll squeeze out a bit of each color onto my palette. Let's swatch them on this sheet. Now, by mixing two primary colors together, we can create what are known as secondary colors. For example, when we mix blue and yellow, we get green. When we mix red and blue, we get purple. And when we mix yellow and red, we get orange. called the color wheel and it's a fundamental tool for artists. In a nutshell, I can say primary colors are the building blocks of all other colors in acrylics. By combining them, we can create a wide range of beautiful secondary colors. If you are new to acrylics, here is my free guide on color mixing for beginners which has all the basics and tips for color mixing. You can download it from the link guide.modelacreations.com. I will also leave a link in the description below. Next we will talk about creating lighter and darker shades of a color. This is a fundamental skill for any artist whether you are a beginner or you are trying to refine your techniques. Let's start by discussing how to lighten a color. There are variety of methods to do this. I will show you two easy ways to lighten the colors. Method 1. The easiest way to do this is by adding white to your paint. White can instantly make colors lighter. I will take a bit of green paint. I will also take a small amount of white and mix it with the green. You can see how the color becomes lighter. Also notice that this color has a pastel light -like quality. Method 2 The second method to lighten the color is to add the color up on the color wheel. So if you take green, the color up the color wheel for green is yellow. So go ahead to add a bit of yellow to green. Here you get a more vibrant lighter shade of green. Now let's talk about darkening colors. Similar to lightening the colors, there are multiple ways to achieve this. I will teach you two different methods. Method number one, the easiest way to darken colors is to use black. Black is the darkest color so you can use it to add depth and darkness to any color. I will take orange paint on my palette. This time I will bring in a touch of black. As I mix them together, you can see how the orange becomes darker, almost like a brown shade. Method number 2 The next method to darken color is to add the color down on the color wheel. So for orange, we will add the red. Now the orange becomes more darker. Now let me share some tips on lightening and darkening your colors. Tip number one. The first tip is to remember two important terms which is tint and shade. A tint is a color mixed with white which results in a lighter version of that color. On the other hand, a shade is a color mixed with black creating a darker version of the original color. For example, if we take a blue, here we have the original blue. In the left, I have added white to create a tint making it lighter and on the right, I have added black to create a shade making it darker. Tip number two. The second tip is to only add a little white or black at a time. It's easier to make a color progressively lighter or darker than to correct an overly light or dark shades. 
in the same way when you want to darken with the colors on the color wheel add the other color little by little so that you can have control over the colors you are mixing tip number 3 the next tip is to use the lightness and darkness of these colors in your paintings so where will you use them you will use them in your highlight areas in your shadow areas and wherever you need to create depth in your artworks in this section let's explore the concept of complementary colors so what are complementary colors these are pairs of colors that are located opposite to each other on the color wheel let's take the color wheel here we have red and green blue and orange and yellow and purple as opposites and all these are complementary pairs so why are complementary colors important when placed side by side they create a striking contrast and enhance each other's intensity so we can add excitement energy and visual interest to your artworks with complementary colors complementary colors are also excellent for creating focal points emphasizing certain elements in your painting or making specific areas stand out This is one side of the complementary colors another important feature of the complementary color is when you mix them together when you mix these colors that is the opposite on the color wheel you get muted colors This brings me to the next section which is color intensity so what exactly is color intensity it is all about how bright or dull a color appears So consider color intensity as a volume knob on your favorite song. You can turn it up to make it more vibrant and turn it down to make it more muted. To illustrate this, let's start with a primary color like red. If you use pure undiluted red like this, you get a highly intense vibrant red. But sometimes you might want a softer, more muted look for the red color. So that's where understanding intensity comes into play i'll show you how it works here's my vibrant red now i'll take a bit of this red and add a touch of its complementary color which in this case is green as i mix them you can see how the red becomes less intense and more muted so complementary colors are your secret weapon for controlling intensity when you mix a color with its complementary color they neutralize each other and create a more subdued result so why do we need color intensity understanding color intensity allows you to fine tune your colors to match the mood and atmosphere of your artworks it's all about experimenting and finding the right balance You have created different variety of colors, but how to create earthy tones of browns? Is there a way to create them? Yes, we have. We can create different hues of browns by just using primary colors. And why browns? Because brown is a color that can be used for so many different purposes, including your earthy tones, different textures, creating your skin tones, shadow areas. So it is a very versatile color. which can add depth and richness to your paintings i'll take a bit of red a bit of blue and a bit of yellow on my palette now as i mix these three primary colors together you will see how they combine to create a lovely shade of brown uh, the beauty of this technique is that uh, you can adjust the tone of brown by varying the proportions of red blue and yellow uh, more red will result in a warmer reddish brown while more blue and yellow can give you a cooler earthy browns these brown tones can be incredibly useful in your artwork for creating landscapes tree bark animal fur or even skin tones so as a bonus i am going to show you how to mix different skin tones or animal fur hues with only primary colors first mix the primaries to get burnt sienna and then add white to it Here are all the different hues you will get as you keep adding more and more white to the base color. If you add more yellow when you mix the primary colors, you will get yellow ochre. This is also a beautiful earthy yellow brown color. You can keep adding white to it to create various hues. 
Now if you add more blue when you mix the primary colors you will get a dark brown like burnt umber. I am adding white similarly to the above steps to create various hues from this darker brown. With the dark brown that we created if you add more red to that particular brown you will get a warmer skin tones like this. And once you lighten that with white, you can get a huge variety of different warmer tones. Apart from whatever I have shown here, you can also derive skin tones from secondary colors. For example, add a touch of red to more yellow to get a light orange hue. To this you can keep adding white to lighten the color and get various skin tones. So depending on the base that you are choosing to create adding white will lighten the colors and make you various shades not only adding white you can also go ahead to experiment with adding different yellows or different reds a touch of red a touch of orange so once you are experimenting with these colors you can create a variety of skin tones and animal fur tones I hope you got a very good understanding of mixing colors. Just remember that you have the power to control the volume of your colors as well as create perfect colors for your artworks. If you have any questions, please post it in the comment section below. I will be happy to answer them all for you. If you like this video and got value from it, just do me a favor by clicking on the like button so that it can reach more people. I do post detailed but easy to understand videos like this every single week so keep be subscribed and stay connected happy painting have a great week i'll see you in the next video